There are 11,500 elephants in Kruger, but Kruger has capacity for 7,000. Elephants are bulk feeders, so they need a lot of forage. Bulls in particular are known to fell trees. Such feeding habits could have dramatic negative impact on vegetation composition and structure. So this bulldozing behavior, is it a good thing or a bad thing? There are several known cases where an increase of elephant density has been linked to the decrease of certain species. Large trees could disappear and areas of woodland may be lost if elephant populations continue to grow. Trees provide food and shelter to many animals, such as birds and insects. Elephants live off trees, feeding on the roots, bark and leaves. They can quite effortlessly uproot an entire tree just to get to the roots. Nestling birds and other animals relying on the security of a living standing tree are often left homeless and some even lose their lives. Under normal circumstances, elephants have a cycle of migration, allowing trees time to replenish. But fencing has forced the elephants to stay in one place, giving the forest no time to recover. Also, unlike carnivores, Elephants feed on the part they want from a particular tree, as opposed to feeding on the whole tree. As a person who works in trauma healing with communities, the most heartbreaking factor for me is that in some parts of the world, trees are used as a metaphor for trauma healing. Using the narrative approach of storytelling, small groups gather around a tree and share and listen to each other's stories. And this helps to normalize their emotions and feelings, helping them to cope. Participants gain strength and inspiration from the tree, considering its similarities with humans. So which one do we save? The tree or the elephant? Oh, my God.